Hi everyone, it's is Chantel. I am back to show you all how to basically get a file ready to embroider. The program that I will be using is called So What Pro. There's other softwares out there for you to use, but this is what I'm most comfortable with. So this is the layout of it. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go up here to File. And you're going to click Open. That is how you start off. Open. Now, what you need to do is click the drop down menu. Of course, everyone does not have the same computer as I have, but I'll just show you with the one I have. Mine are in downloads, and the file that I am looking for is a Minnie Mouse file, which is the shirt that I have to do. Wow, Minnie Mouse. All right, so here it is. We're gonna click open. And the embroidery machine I have is a PE770. So the format that it uses is PES. All brothers and baby lock use PES. So that is the file that I'm gonna use. As you can see, you click on it and it shows you the quick up, the stitch count, the colors, and the size. We're gonna click open. And there it is. Over here is going to show you the thread count and the colors. All right, so I'm not going to mess with any other colors. I'm not going to do all that in this video tutorial. I'm just going to show you how to basically add and all those things. So all that I have to do now, since this file is already put together, which you can actually buy off of Etsy, I got this particular one from Cherry Stitch. Okay, so we're going to have to add the little girl's name, which her name is Ava. So you're going to go back up to File and to add something to this one, you're not going to click Open because it'll take it completely off. What you need to do is click Merge. So you see, we're going to Merge and it's right back on there. Now, Downloads. And I have to search for my Disney font, which I also got off of Etsy. Disney font. We're going to open it. Now, the size inches, you see it's right there. I'm going to use 2 inch and go ahead and click upper. Now, her name is Ava, so we're going to start with the letter A. And again, preview right there shows you how many stitches and how big and there it is every time when you add a file to it it's gonna pop up right in the middle I'm gonna show you really quick how you can make it all go right there beside each other because I always make sure that I line it up right there on the line I'll zoom in for you so you can see I always make sure it's right there on the line so that everything is just already lined up so we're going to go back up to File, Merge. Now, we're going to have to go back to the previous one, click lowercase, open. Now let's find the V, scroll down for the V. You see preview right there. And add. And there it is right there in the middle. Now. I'm going to place this right here beside it on the line and I'm going to show you how you can make sure it all goes. So we're going to come over here and right here, I'm going to see if it will let me pull it out. It has these right there. You're going to click that one right there, icons. And you see the fonts that you've used, it shows up right there, what you've done. So, all I need is an A. So, we're going to click the A. And look at that. Popped up right there beside the V. Now, to make it go back away, you're going to click it again. 
and it goes right back to the thread count. These numbers right here shows you each one. So first stitch out, second stitch out, you know, things like that. So now all we need to do is line everything up. So we're gonna click and scroll. Now I'm gonna show you these notches right there. You have to get it lined up with this area right here to make sure it's all even. So we're going to do her name first to make sure it's even. Now, let's click on this whole one. It's still lined up as you can see. Still lined up. Now we're going to select the entire thing. I always click, click and drag. That's what I always do, click and drag. So the middle is already lined up. We need to make sure that this is lined up with the middle. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, it is completely even. So now what you do is you go back up and click file and save as. Now I actually have a a folder that I named embroidery files. It's good to have something like that to where you can put everything in at one spot. So if you just bear with me I can scroll through and find it. Okay, there it is, embroidery files right there. Double click, and as you can see, everything is in there. Name this, and I like to name the files after the child. So let's do Ava. Ava. Mini. is saved you know a little bit about how to use this now this is so exciting thank you all for watching and if you like the video please like and subscribe bye